Welcome to Spa Francorchamps. The summer break is over for the cars and competitors of the Euro Formula Open. The championship battle between Vitor Baptista and Konstantin Tereshenko reached a boiling point at the Red Bull Ring. Let's see how that continues and whether or not Yukanamaru and Tanat Sapien Thirikul can also join the hunt for the crowd. <laughs> Race one is Vito Baptista who got the jump on Tereshenko as the field headed towards La Source. Amazingly, the front half of the pack made it through unscathed, but behind there was a little bit of contact. Pieveranti's nose cone went flying into Lecom. Tereshenko reclaimed the advantage as the drivers got caught out in a still slightly greasy circuit. It's Baptista who came off worst and he slipped down to fourth place and thereafter had to fight back through the field. Kennedy Kassiri was making a great debut until that quick spin at the source. It was out front we were treated to the battle between the main title protagonists, Baptista and Tereshenko. This the decisive move of the race, Vitor Baptista slipstreaming past his Russian rival en route to Lecol. Throughout the field there was some excellent racing to be found as Leonardo Pulcini surged through the pack late on. DAV teammate Pavko Park was also showing strongly, as was Alessio Rivera. Tereth race winner Rivera, who was in the mix, battling with Yarin Stern and Fiavaranti as the race unfolded. Fiavaranti, hampered by a damaged front wing, was deteriorating as the race continued. Vito Baptista, however, it was a perfect performance. After a slightly challenging first lap, he fought back magnificently to claim victory over Tereshenko. So it's victory for Baptista, Tereshenko second and Polcini completing the podium. Delight for RP Motorsport, Polcini also the top rookie. Really exciting race. I think one of the most exciting races that we, we have raced this year. I did a really good start, I went to first and after the, the, fourth, the fourth corner uh, I was fighting with him and we both break it a lot uh, after then the, the, the reference. So we did a mistake together but, but he could stay on the track and I did a, I think a big mistake. So I went to third and then just uh, going gap by gap, I was reaching them. I could overtake and then hold the position for the, for the final. We have a, well, a big uh, straight here, so the slip strain is really big. So even if you, you are one second after, you can reach the guy. And it was really exciting. I, I had a perfect car. The, the, the team gave me a really good car. <laughs> to race two and once more is Vito Baptista who had pole position as he got the jump away from the line on a slippery and greasy circuit. Wet tyres were the order of the day. Through the source this time it all went a little bit wrong. It's Alessio Rivera who was tagged and pitched into a spin, damaged the GAV driver's car, sending him into early retirement. In the early stages picking away through the spray and finding the grip was something of a challenge giving some of the field the opportunity to make very good progress. Out front though, Baptista was braking well clear. Front field, Tereshenko doing what he could to maintain second place. It's behind Diego Menchaka was once more in the thick of the action, doing battle with Kandasi Kassiri. Track conditions changing lap by lap. Finding the grip was a real challenge as the race unfolded. And those drivers that had got the car set up as they wanted were able to really fly. Kassiri in particular showing some great car control. Eggman Chakra eventually having to concede the place after slithering wide through Lecom. Vito Baptista though, it was a perfect performance. He 
became our first double winner of the 2015 season, a win that puts him now at the top of the championship standings with just four races remaining. The last gasp move from Tao Safian Thirikul wasn't quite enough to get him onto the podium. Excellent third place to Igor Wilko, with Tereshenko once more the runner-up. Celebration time for Baptista in Spa. For Igor Wilko, his maiden podium crowned by also being the top rookie driver, claiming that class in an RP Motorsport clean sweep. <laughs> It was a little bit easier, also in the beginning, I could do a really good start, like yesterday, and I had one of my teammates on second place, so he could uh, hold a little bit all the, other all the other cars, and I opened a gap on the first three laps, it uh, turned uh, my life a lot easier on the rest of the, the race. And we have to keep, uh, keep working a lot, because the championship is really hard. We still have four races, and Monza is the race that is a track that I don't know. Barcelona I know, but Monza will be, I think, uh, more difficult than here.